Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this week's video is a bit of a, a different one. I'm doing it from home because um, I can't actually get out uh, um, at the moment due to a few uh, family issues. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, do a video on this grumpy guy. My bearded dragon. He's uh, two and a half now. I've had him since he was eight weeks old. Um, I mean, he's quite big. He's just very grumpy. Um, he, he, uh, he's just had some salad, so uh, some right wild rocket. So uh, he's nice and yellow under here. Don't like his uh, neck touched. I don't know why. He's never been mistreated, so yeah. Um, this is uh, venom, anyway. Um, I've had bearded dragons for a good few years now. Um, I've only got this one at the moment um, due to just not having the space for any more. But yeah, I mean, this guy's shedding on the back of his head and that at the moment. And if we can get him that side, you can see where he's shedding on the top of his lip. Um, try not to let him see another himself in the reflection because uh, they're solitary animals. And if he was to spot even his own reflection, um they go mental and i mean mental um it'd be a job for uh, me to uh, throw a tea towel over him and catch him like that because he goes ballistic um so yeah i mean you can start of sort of see he's starting to go black a little bit on the, on his side there when that will all go completely black, um, he'll then start waving and head bobbing and uh, just go completely, completely nuts, to be quite honest. Um, I once had a bearded dragon that ended up having some of his toes amputated because it went so mental when it spotted one of the others. Um, so, yeah, um, only trained professionals are to to sort of put the male and female together. Um, just due to, they just don't get on, you know, in, in the in the wild out in Australia and that where they're from. Um, you, you don't often see more than, you know, any more than one at a time because they, they will fight to the death. Um, the only time they, as I say, come together um, in the wild is um, to breed, basically. Um, and even that could be a challenge or uh, life threatening. Um, I have seen people with pet bearded dragons that have had their tail chomped off from about here. That's quite a bit of tail. Yeah, they end up with a with a stump. Um, it's not good. Um, people go, yeah, you can put bearded dragons together. You can't leave me. Uh, ranking dragons, they look pretty much the same as these. They just don't have all the spiky beard and stuff as much. And they can't sort of puff as much as these can. You know, like puff out their beard and that because, yeah. But yeah, ranking dragons are the same. Um, he is a cool guy. He's just just a grumpy bugger. In your venom. Up. Up here. Up, up, good boy, up. Yeah, he, uh, he just sits on my shoulder. Unless he sees a bird outside, um, he, he just sits there. If he sees a bird, he goes mad. Um, I've only uh, been bitten by him once in the whole time I've had him. Um, and that was because I went to hand feed him um, a locust. I've actually run out at the moment, but 
I went to feed him a locust one day and he missed the locust and because the locust, his leg come off as it, as he went to go for it and I dropped the locust and he didn't realise and yeah, hit my finger. So uh, yeah, they, they can give a nasty bite. Um, I've seen people with a lot of damage from one of these. Um, he's, he only nicked me, so but I have been bitten properly by one and it uh, can be painful. People say they can't bite to the bone, they can. Um, you know, in the wild, they, they eat pinkies and sort of small mice, as well as bugs and vegetation, and you know. So they, they, they can uh, cause a lot of damage if they have to. Um, I mean, wild ones will um, cause a lot of damage. These can, obviously, because they're just domesticated, but they tend to not. They tend to sort of give a warning bite, you know what I mean? It's more of a pinch. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've uh, got to give them a bath shortly, so uh, we'll see how that goes. He doesn't like it, he just sits there, so I'm probably not going to video it because it would be very boring just to watch him sitting there. I mean, uh, he's just sitting there on my shoulder at the moment, but, uh, where you gone? Come on in. Good boy. You got some sharp old nails, didn't you, mate? Yeah. There's venom. But anyway, guys. Um, I will put some video clips of him and some photos that I've recently taken um, in the video. Um, I should be back to normal, um, hopefully, for a video next week. Um, I'm not too sure what, what species it's going to be. Um, at the moment, I'm looking for kingfishers, short-eared owls, and waxwings, but all three seem to be evading me. So. Um, yeah, it's a project I've been working on for a few weeks now, um, and I'm struggling. So, yeah, hopefully um, the next video, as I say, will be one of those sort of birds. Um, if not, it'll just be the same as usual, um, a walk in the local area, even though it's getting very boring. There's not much I can do. Um, not driving, not having any friends that drive. Um, not very helpful. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of this one. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in nature sometime soon. Bye for now.